In this video, we're going to be looking at converting audio formats in Music B. So if we select the song and go to Tools, Convert Format, we bring up this window which allows us to convert our media. Select the song, we can choose between MP3, FLAC, WMA, AIFF, and WAVE. We can also select the quality or compression. Notice we have this lossless format in FLAC and WAVE and lossy formats in MP3 and so forth. You can choose to permanently adjust the volume and do this by track or albums. You can choose the output to source file and this will basically save the converted file to wherever the original file is located. You can also choose to replace the source file be very careful with this because if you check this, it will overwrite the original file with the newly formatted. Here you can choose a specified location for where to place the converted file. I'll just change this to the desktop, so I'll find it easier. And you can also choose to organize the converted file in subfolders and it would be labeled in this case by artist album artist, album, disc track, and name. And you can of course customize this to however you see fit using these fields. You can add the converted files to the inbox. You can also choose whether to skip conversion and simply synchronize the tag values only if the file already exists. You can reset the play and skip counts or copy it from the source as well as copy the artwork from the source. You can choose to minimize this once the process has started, so minimize this window. So let's go ahead, let's convert this song. We'll convert it. It is currently a mp3, so let's convert it to, we'll send it to our desktop and we'll convert it to, let's say, wave. I'm not going to add the song to the inbox and we'll hit proceed. Notice that we are going to copy the play count and everything and on our desktop we see here the file. It's been organized into subfolders and we now have our WAV file as we can see in our details here. It's kept all of our information. So we're good to go. If you go to edit preferences under file converters, you have more control over your file conversions. Notice that we have all of these codecs that we can choose from, such as MP3, AAC, AUG, Opus, MPC, FLAC, ALAC, WavePack, WavePack, Wave Pack, TAC, WMA, and so forth. By default, some of these are disabled. You can enable them simply by checking them. Now, some of these codecs such as AAC do not come bundled with the executable for the conversions. For example, we need Nero AAC encode to enable AAC conversion. And I'll show you how to get that. We have AUG, Opus, we can check all of these and when we do, we'll have those options available to us in our file converter. AAC, we'll just check all of them. Then when we hit apply and hit save, we go back to our format converter. And we now have all of these options. So now we could choose from AUG Vorbis, Opus, Muse Pack, and so forth. To get these missing codecs, I have a repository under the Music B and Codecs repository that I have. I provide these codecs that you can add to your Music B. So when we go to download, I will download the zip, open it up, and I will extract this and 
we see codex here so let's abstract that and we see our codex so we'll copy these we have FFmpeg, Nero, AAC, encode, decode, and the AAC tag. So what we'll do is go to our music B folder where our installation is located. In my case, it's going to be under music, music B, and under codec, we're going to paste those files. And again, when we go back to our file converters, notice we don't have those warning signs. And now we have access, we can convert to all these formats. Now notice each of these formats have options. These options correspond to the executable. For example, if I go to and search for lane.exe, well, let's actually go to commands and go here and we will go to the command line options and this documents how to use the lane.exe in all of its options this window was basically allowing us to provide the commands for how we want to control for how we want to output our files for example we looked at ffmpeg in previous videos and if we go to ffmpeg commands, we can look at the documentation and all the commands for FFmpeg corresponds to what we have here. So if you look up the options, you can customize how FFmpeg outputs the files using these options. Right now we're giving the minus I encode ALAC. I usually just keep the default settings, but I just want you to know that you can't customize each of the quality versions simply by doc by looking at the documentation for each of these codecs. So you have quite a bit of control here. You can also choose the thread priority. You can choose the lowest normal or above normal. And you can also choose the maximum encoding threads. So again, let's go ahead and now convert this song. We will export this out as Augvorbis. And we will choose maximum quality. We'll export to the desktop using these subfolders. We're not going to add to the inbox and we're going to copy all of our settings. We'll hit proceed and we have our songs formatted. in AUG, and that's converting music and music beat.